In this problem, we're calculating the electric flux through a cube. The formula for electric flux that we'll be using is the integral of the electric field dotted with the area vector. Now remember when you're doing a dot product, you only pick up terms when the components are the same. So it's only when you're dotting electric fields and area vectors that are both in the i hat, k hat, or j hat direction that you're going to get 1. Dotting i with j or j with k or i with k gives 0. So the first thing to do is draw all the area vectors for this cube and then decide whether or not you're going to have to integrate to get the electric flux. So let's start at the top. The area vector for this top face I'll call a1 and it has dimensions L squared and points in the J hat direction. The bottom face I'll call A2. It has also dimensions L squared and points in the negative J hat direction. Face to the right I'll call A3. Magnitude L squared, direction I hat. A4 could be the left face. Dimensions L squared, negative I hat for the direction. And then we have the front face. We'll call that A5, which has direction K hat. And the back face we'll call A6, which has direction negative K hat. Now let's look at the expression for the electric field. The electric field is equal to a plus bx i hat plus cj hat. Now there is a variable in that expression, so you may think you have to integrate. But let's look at all the faces of the cube that we're going to pick up a term when we dot with the electric field. And so we're only looking at faces that have an i hat in them. These are faces a4 and a3. So look at a3. When we dot the electric field with A3, or any even little dA that is along A3, we're going to have um, I hat dot I hat, which is 1. But the value for x along that face is constant. And so in fact, we don't have to integrate. We don't have a changing electric field over A3, nor do we have a changing electric field over A4. So that x is not a problem as long as it's always in the i hat component of the electric field. So we've decided we don't have to integrate, which means to calculate the electric flux, we simply have to dot the electric field vector with the area vector for each face. So let's go ahead and do that for each of these faces, starting with face 1. So the electric field for face 1 would be E dot A1. And A1 has a J hat component, so I'm just going to get C L squared. J hat dot J hat is 1, J hat dot I hat is 0. Let's do 2. So e dot A2. And for A2, I have L negative J hat, so I'm going to pick up a negative C L squared. For Three, I have E dot A3, so now I'm going to have A plus BX I hat plus CJ hat dot L squared I hat. Now, just the I hat terms are left, but I need to evaluate x on that face. So if I go back to my cube and look at the face on A3, this face, I can see that everywhere on that face x is exactly equal to L. And so I have to sub in that x equals L and I'm going to get A plus BL for the i hat part of the electric field and then I'm going to have L squared. And so I end up with AL squared plus BL cubed. Okay, now the electric flux for face 4, E dot A4, and let's see what we get for A4. A4 is L negative I hat, 
So that's what I'm going to have here. I'm going to have a plus bx times negative l squared. But once again, I need to evaluate x on that face. So up here on face 4, x equals 0. And so I put x equals 0 into my expression for the electric field. And I'm just going to get negative a l squared. Okay, for E5, there's a K hat in that, and so I'm going to get 0. And for E6, there's also a K hat, but there is no K hat in the electric field, so I'm going to get 0 there as well. All right, so now to sum all fluxes, the net flux, it's just the sum. Remember, these are all scalar values. So I have CL squared minus CL squared plus AL squared plus B L cubed minus A L squared, which is just equal to B L cubed. And that's the final answer for the electric flux through that cube.